This lecture is organized by Dr. Alemi and narrated by Yara Alemi. The lecture is based on the Open Intro Statistics book. Investigators are often interested in the relationship between variables. To understand the relationship between two variables, multiple observations are needed. Relying on one case is often referred to as relying on anecdotal data and could be misleading. Here is an example of the fallacy of anecdotal data. In this example, the person claims no relationship between cancer and smoking. We cannot be sure that he will not have cancer. Cancer may come tomorrow. Furthermore, one case is not enough to establish or refute a relationship. The relationship between cancer and smoking is established after examining many cases. A scatter plot is often used to show the relationship between two continuous numeric variables. Here we see a scatter plot showing federal spending against poverty. Owensley County of Kentucky, with a poverty rate of 41.5% and federal spending of $21.50 per capita, is highlighted in the red circle. Here we see examples of three positive relationships between two variables. Always graph the data. It reveals more than summary statistics. A negative relationship is shown when an increase in x variable leads to the decrease in the y variable. A pair of variables are either related in some way or not. A pair of unrelated variables where there is approximately zero relationship are referred to as being independent. To identify the explanatory variables in a pair of variables, identify which of the two is suspected of affecting the other and plan for the appropriate analysis. Labeling the variables as explanatory and response does not guarantee the relationship between the two is actually causal. Even if there is an association identified between the two variables, we use these labels only to keep track of which variable we suspect affects the other. To infer, to infer a causation, we need three additional pieces of information. We need to know the sequence of events. A cause must precede an event. There must be a mechanism that leads from cause to the effect. A, a mechanism refers to a third variable that occurs as a consequence of the cause and leads to the effect. The counterfactual must hold. That is, when the cause are absent, the effect must also not be present. Association is not enough. A lot more is needed to establish causation. In this cartoon, we see report of association between a statistics class and knowledge of cause and effect. We see sequence. The person did not know that association is not causation before the class. We can imagine a mechanism. The professor taught it and the student learned it. It is not stated, but it is implied. But we do not see counterfactual. There are people who did not take the class but know that association is not causation. Knowledge can be gained without the class, so the effect may be there without the presumed clause, cause. So we cannot conclude that the class caused the new knowledge. The take-home message of for this lecture was that a scatter plot can show the association between two variables. Let us see if you have understood the relationship between two variables and how to interpret scatter plots. <laughs>